Hey guys, so it's finally got some snow here, so I want to show you how the leaf handles in this snow. I'm going to go from this and I'm going to go out here. So let's go enjoy. Now on my leaf I'm running Michelin XI3 tires. They're 16 inch, so they drop the size down from the normal 17 inch that come with the leaf. All right guys, so as you can see, we've got a pretty good amount of snow here. I'll try to let you see a little bit more of the roadway. Uh, only a, probably about an inch and a half, maybe, maybe coming up on two inches now. So I just have the car in the normal modes. Uh, don't have anything, you know, the uh, uh, traction control is on and Nissan comes with something called VDC. Um, I believe it's vehicle dynamic controls, if I got that correctly. And um, it's basically just for assisting in handling. So. Um, so I'm making a right turn here. I've got gas. I'm like giving it acceleration and as you can see the traction control light comes on But it keeps me in lane. Um, I'm accelerating actually really quick as you can see in this snow. I'll switch lanes here and uh, I get down to a point where I can Actually see the dash here. There we go So we'll try it again here. Hopefully this will turn out. Okay, I'm coming to a stop sign and so I'm just basically flooring it. Well, I shouldn't floor it, but I'm just giving it lots of power. Uh, the thing about it is that the, the traction control system regulates it, and it gets up pretty good to speed, and it keeps me straight. Uh, I'm not fishtailing all over the place. Now, that's one advantage of front-wheel drive cars, but certainly when you come to electric as well, with that extra weight and a really good set of snow tires, these are virtually brand new snow tires, um, it all helps. So I'm in a parking lot here. I'm just going to try to accelerate as quick as I can and hopefully you can see both the dash and the outside and see how that traction control works. So, and this is an unplowed lot right now. So I'm giving it probably about half throttle. So it regulates the power and keeps the car straight. So I felt no slippage at all while I was accelerating on that straight away. And even as I'm taking the turn, um, if I give it gas, I, the car does not go out of control. It keeps it in the turning uh, radius that I'm turning in. So usually on a front wheel car, you give it some gas and you'll start sliding to the right hand side if you're doing a left hand turn and the opposite way if you're doing another turn. So coming up to one of the roundabouts we have in my area, and I'm going to take it at actually a pretty good speed here. And uh, I don't have to really do anything. The car just kind of holds its way and I kept at some pretty good acceleration throughout that roundabout. One of the things I like about the Nissan Leaf, as everybody knows, is the Pro Pilot, especially the Eco Pedal function. And um, I'm on a fairly snow-covered road here, and I'm going to, it's uh, about 80 kilometers an hour, I'm just going to let fully off the accelerator and let Pro Pilot, or let E-Pedal, excuse me, bring me to a stop. So nobody's behind me for quite some distance, so I've got some safety here. So here we go. So it's bringing me to a full stop. There's no slippage at all, no loss of control, no brake locking, and it takes me right to a stop. And I haven't touched any of the pedals after I, left my, after I lifted my foot off the accelerator. And now I'll go again. So as you can see, the traction control is kicking in. A Little bit of drift to the right, but not much. Keeping me fairly straight in line and keeping me accelerating at a good clip there. Normally, a lot of people would spin there. One of the things I was trying to do here was do my traditional donuts. I'm in a very uh, dedicated and dead-end cul-de-sac here, kind of in the middle of nowhere.
and um, maintaining control of the vehicle at all times, even through here, I'm not really slipping. Traction control kicks in and keeps me back into the track um, from slipping right out of that. So, uh, again, the um, I mean, look, electric vehicles aren't invincible to weather. There's no doubt about that. But uh, once you get a little bit sense of control in your car, you get a sense of how it feels and how it handles. Uh, it just gives you an overall better winter driving experience on roads like this, which are slick. Um, folks, this is the first, the very first time that I'm driving this car in any amount of snow. I've been kind of chomping at the bit, waiting for snow to come over the last couple of months to see how this handles. So I'm just kind of playing around with it just to see what its capabilities. Now, I've done a lot of winter driving. So here I lost it just for a sec. I let off the accelerator and the car came right back on track because of the regenerative braking kicked in just to slow it down enough and bring it back. So again, you don't have to touch those brakes very much. And that's one of the things that keeps you in control. Um, it's kind of like when you drive a standard and if you feel yourself going out of control, you just push the clutch in to disengage power to the wheels and it snaps you know, either the front or the rear depending on what's sliding out from under you back into into the, the straightness of the, the direction that you're going. Well, this is a very similar uh, experience here with electric cars. Now this is a front wheel drive. I know there's a ton of videos out there uh, with Tesla's Model 3's and real wheel drive and all wheel drive and they're going around Norwegian and Sweden uh, ice fields and barreling all over the place and country roads, uh, you know, courses, uh, stuff like that. I'm taking it easy here for safety obviously. This is not a not a control course setting. This is open road and it's a residential area and there are speed limits and uh, I'm taking it easy. Now I do know this road very well. We come up here quite often. It's uh, literally only about 10 or 15 minutes away from my home so for, for weekends we come up here for drives. So I do know the road so that helps that I, that I am in familiar uh, area when it comes to the roadway. So we're coming up to a really really unique turn here. Um, in, a, in, in a few seconds, uh, which is basically, <laughs> it's almost a 360 from the road. Uh, it's just because we're climbing this uh, fairly steep hill and um, it's just one of these weird drives. Now this is a very popular drive in the summertime. In fact, it's been so popular that the uh, uh, local town and local law enforcement have had to really clamp down on speeding and restrictions and stuff. So, so here I go, it kind of goes up this hill as you can see, uh, hopefully you can get a sense of elevation. So I'm giving it some gas, some uh, power. Uh, traction control kicks in so I don't slip, keeps me nice and straight, keeps me a smooth acceleration, a smooth power. Now here I have to go uh, pretty well, almost 360 degrees. It's just right around here. Uh, it's a very, very sharp turn. And as you can see, it keeps me right in the lane. I have no problem slipping out. And then we go up this uh, fairly steep incline onto this road and no problem. In fact, it regulated my speed so I wouldn't slip and slowed me down even though I was giving it actually more power, but kept my forward momentum, kept me going through the snow and up that, that steep grade onto the uh, open uh, street here, onto the open roadway. So I'm, I have to admit folks, I'm extremely impressed with the way this car handles. Uh, I can get it out of control if I really, really push it like a rally car. This is not a rally car, it's not designed to be. Uh, but I can tell you, I haven't driven front wheel drive cars for quite a long time. Both my other cars are front wheel drive ICE vehicles. Um, you do get a, a little bit more control with front wheel drive in the snow as far as you know, you're throwing your rear end out in a turn. But it's not that uncommon to be able to, to get your front sliding one way or another in a turn. And even here, I give it a little bit of acceleration and it wants the slide and then the traction control kicks in and uh, the throttle uh, actually reduces, I believe VDC reduces the, the amount of power for a sec so that I can maintain control when it feels some slippage. So it's a combination of obviously the, the braking system activating and pulsating like anti-lock brakes do for pretty well all traction control systems in, in vehicles. And then also limiting power. Pretty cool folks. I'm very impressed with the Leafs handling capabilities as I would be I'm sure with the Bolt and the Hyundai and the, the plethora of other EVs that are on the market and that are coming to the market. Obviously if you have an all-wheel drive EV it's going to be even a better experience. Remember folks as long as you have good good set of winter tires and you can still even with all-wheel drive vehicles get them out of shape if you really want to try hard but for normal driving to keep you moving to keep you safe to keep you in your lane 
Um, I believe uh, electric vehicles uh, certainly have an immense um, uh, advantage over most ice fees. Now I know uh, vehicles like Subarus and stuff which are known for their traction and their oil drive capabilities um, are tremendous vehicles as well so I'm not discounting them all but certainly EVs can hold their own. So I'm going to take that turn that I took a little while ago from the other side. I'm coming back through it so just to give you a sense of uh, what this turn is all about here. So I'm slowing down. I'm just letting the regenerative braking carry me through not touching any pedals, just steering, letting the regenerative braking and gravity, of course, take me through. So here is where it's a really tight turn. Hard to probably see on camera, but it's uh, almost a almost a complete 360. Probably like about a 270 or 28, 290. And there we go. We're back down. At no moment during that, folks, did I feel any slippage or any loss of control as far as. Uh, staying on the road. Right folks, well that's it for my winter driving uh, exclusive here as far as me goes. First time I'm winter driving in my Nissan Leaf. So just remember, um, they are invincible but they will allow you a little bit more safety than in my opinion a lot of the uh, cars that are out there today. But you got to get a good pair of snow tires. You got to learn how to drive the vehicle, learn its limits. Um, you know, maybe find an empty parking lot where, where it's safe that you can kind of go a little bit, try to push the envelope a little bit on your vehicle to get a sense of, of the, the, the edges of where the vehicle will lose control, things like that. That way, when you get into a situation where you're on the road and you need to get out of it, you'll have the experience and knowledge and you'll be able to feel how your car is going to react and be able to react accordingly to that. With the safety systems on electric vehicles in most cars, with traction controls and all these other devices that are uh, out there, they are there to keep you safe. But nothing replaces a little bit of common sense. Watch your speed, uh, give yourself spacing, and of course, enjoy the drive because I'm here in this lovely woodside. So thanks all for watching. Thank you.